Well, you won't be able to see me for this one. It's Saturday night, September 16th, 2023. It is like 7.50 Pacific Standard Time. I'm in Arizona. I'm on my way to the North Ridge. I got, it's like, I got like an hour, 40 minutes left of driving in the dark. There's no cell data. There's no music. I can get NPR and listen to like bad bluegrass. <laughs> and I do have a car behind me and the cars that come in front of me keep having their high beams on. I'm on a narrow, windy, dark road with no natural light, no outside lights. So it's only using your, your car lights people behind you they ride your ass because they don't understand that part of how the distance they can see is because you are in front of them so then you slow down and they pass you and then they slow way down because now that you're not guiding them through the darkness they can't see anymore so it's just a vicious cycle of people being too stupid behind you to realize that you are setting the pace because they can see your headlights in front of them and theirs so they can see extra far but when they take the lead they can't see that far anymore anywho um, with social media I don't know I just needed to pass the time and with social media many times people are just posting the highlight reels I left September 2nd, it's now the 16th. I've been on the road. I've been sleeping in my car for two days in Walmart. I've been wearing the same clothes for three days. I'm hoping to check into a room tonight so that I can shower and get a good teeth brushing. I've been brushing my teeth on the side of the road. So I have my electric toothbrush and I have toothpaste in water but it just doesn't do it the same as getting in there with the, the water pick and, and everything and I've been getting a good night's sleep my whoop says that I'm in the green and I'm rested so I've been sleeping heavy because I've been doing long days but I've been driving for about 10 hours I don't get much more frustrated than I am right now so this is where I look like frustrated <laughs> This is what I look like frustrated. I was trying to go through the emotions that I'm feeling. But I'm not really getting any chemical release. I'm not anger. It's not setting me up through anger. A little bit of tiredness, but not even that because I'm driving and the intensity of the driving is keeping me alert. Because it's pitch black out here, just the headlights. It's pretty straight roads, but they're up and down. You got to make sure no animals jump out of you, and then you go blind for a while because everybody keeps their high beams on when they come towards you. I don't know if that's an Arizona thing or there's tourists here. They just don't know any better. Whatever it is, super frustrating. But prior to this. I was just sitting in silence with my thoughts going over different ideas and positive thoughts. I was thinking I am kind of happy with myself um, that I've been recording so many videos to the best of my ability. I want to keep this habit up when I get back home. I've settled in and I'm not homesick. I've kind of just accepted the fact that I'm on the road and it's not going to be ideal and that my eating's not going to be ideal. I miss working out. I usually work out for an hour or two a day. I haven't really had a chance to do that. I haven't even got much hiking. In. All I did yesterday and today was pretty much drive and sightsee. I pulled over a little bit, put some gas, so I saw 
lot of New Mexico, met some people, ate. Now I just drove through all of Arizona and saw the different things that it has to offer in different weather. But I'm not really settled in anywhere. Um, and so I was just reflecting back. I don't think I'm gonna do these long trips anymore. Although I do like the feeling of freedom that I have right now. And I'm not getting any impending doom of having to go back home. I'm more in the moment, I'm more present. But I could have accomplished a lot of what I've done by taking short trips. For example, I could have just done the entire Blue Ridge Parkway in five days, like I did. Do everything the same. And then, instead of going to Jacksonville to play poker, I could have just turned around and drove home two days and slept in a rest stop or a Lowe's or a Loves or something in my car and been home in a week, experienced the whole Blue Ridge Parkway, go nice and slow down, and then take a 95 North back home. Austin, I spent a lot of time in the room in Austin, just like, I'm not sure if I was recovering or I was homesick. Uh, I ended up going on a date that just was like, I, I, I just, it's like, eh, whatever. And then I ended up calling my friend Marissa and just talking to her and catching up, which I could do at home. It was good to talk to her, obviously, and see what she was up to. And she wanted to know what was going on in Austin. But I had some camera questions because I messed up. I don't have an adapter for one of a couple of my lenses. But all in all, I could have flown out to Austin stayed in a cheaper location next to the poker lodge played some of the tournaments but then even that i could have just played poker at home so i'm not trying to be negative i'm glad that i went and experienced that because i just don't i don't get the whole austin thing i'll tell you right now tim dylan was joking around about this when all the la people moved to austin and then he moved away. And now there's another comedian, Shane Gillis, that's moving to Austin. There's no way that Rogan lives in Austin or even close to Austin. When you get like 30 minutes outside the city, it's very rural, nice cows and stuff like that. But when you're in the city, it's just highways, four lane highway. It's dirty, there's graffiti, there's drug addicts. It's hot. I was very surprised at the comedy mothership was so small it has two rooms and then the rooms in the main room you'll have one comedian putting on a show with the bigger comedians and then you have a smaller show with a smaller comedian headlining and putting on other ones there's lots of vegan options but I cook for myself so that wasn't really a draw <coughs> But all in all, all the positive stuff I heard about Austin, when I arrived, I almost drove right through. So, <coughs> the positive is that I went there and decided this is not for me. And now, I also, when people talk about it, I can listen, listen and think, no. But also, this idea that, like, when they advertise it, that, you know, yes like when Tom Segura is putting on Tom Segura and Friends it's him hosting and talking to the crowd and then pulling different acts up onto the stage and you got two people doing that in two rooms twice a night so you have quite a few comics that are in there hanging out but when you listen to the, some of the stories it sounds like you know all the best of the best are just there every night hanging out and that's not the not the truth it's just a tax-free new place because rogan's so big it seems like a comedy scene but i mean in new york city you can pop around to multiple comedy places on the same night 
and see multiple people that are funny. Maybe Austin will start adding more comedy rooms around that area, but 6th Street where it's located, it wasn't fun. I felt on edge. A lot of, a lot of homeless people. The Lodge Poker Room was nice. I like the setup. I'm going to talk about some of the strategies they used as a club with my local room when I get back. Sure, for the ex owners here about that because there were some nice strategies that they used. I'm glad that I went to Santa Fe and had that conversation, but I really just drove to have vegan um, vegan Jamaican soul food, which I had in Jacksonville, which I could get back home. I got to see some beautiful, beautiful sights in the Grand Canyon, but and I took some pictures. And when you're out there, the experience is great. You feel detached. I was just out in the middle of nowhere, spinning around with my camera, being like, this is just amazing that I'm on this trip. So that experience can't be replicated any other way except for the driving for the long periods of time. And then that's the reward when you find spots like that. But I'm just really just driving around without service in the middle of nowhere with my thoughts and spending money on gas. So I'm glad that I did it, but it's not like something that I need to replicate that's really enjoyable. And I could have easily just flown out to Santa Fe and spent two days there and flown back. Um, So, I, I mean, a road trip is a great way to experience yourself and how you react to different situations. So I'm having a great time learning thyself, knowing thyself. I'm not really getting frustrated. I am pretty calm. I'm not really that upset that I'm sleeping in, you know, uh, rest areas and stuff. But... I don't know, it's just not the optimal vacation. But then again, I don't enjoy going to re resorts. So I would much rather do this, hike and find spots and play it by ear, than go to Jamaica and sit on a club net or a resort or whatever. I don't like the beach. I like the quest type aspect of this where I'm exploring the United States, like I'm opening the map of a video game and stopping and meeting, just and talking to people and going to different locations. Um, I don't know if it's the space out west. So the space is nice, but I feel like you're very isolated even when you see cars and stuff around. But also it, it seems very poverty stricken. Many of the houses that I saw in many of the neighborhoods and the businesses were shut down or run down or empty or not taken care of. The roads are, there's so many roads and they're so long. They don't get extremely damaged like up north with the snow and everything, but they're not well taken care of down here. Um, it, it, it's actually sad. Most of the towns that I visited in I, I'm just driving around. I have no idea if it's a poor neighborhood or a rich neighborhood. But my gut feeling by looking at it is, well, this is a poor neighborhood because it's it's just... It, look, they're not kept. The yards aren't kept. And then, like, you'll have three or four houses that, that are in a row that aren't really kept, and then you have a couple of vacant ones very ghost towny. Lots of businesses shut down, but lots of space too. Like, like uh, tires, like just like a, 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 sh a lot that looks empty, just filled with tires in a building. <laughs> and this is not like once in a while. This is all the time. So the places, and this is both the places. This happened to me in Texas. This happened to me in Florida. This happened to me, not so much in Florida. More in Louisiana, Texas, Missouri. I did go to some major areas in when I was on the highway 
in Arizona, but then that just seemed cluttered. It was like a five lane highway. So that was, you know, something that was probably a little bit more city life, but then it's just hot and smelly. And it's really beautiful when you get out to the rocks and stuff, but there's just nothing around. And I'm just thinking, like, I've been driving for an hour right now, and there's a guy behind me and a guy in front of me. And in my mind, I'm like, are you guys going to the North Rim too? Like, where are you going? So if I lived here, I would just have to drive for, for over an hour like to get to the other side of these roads because I'm not seeing any houses or any driveways it's just rock and uh, it's just a road it's just rock on the side of the road like these red rocks and built up rock maybe it's beautiful scenery during the day when I come here with just mile markers so if I were to do this again I don't I, I just don't see like I said I like the exploration of it I like the mystery of it I like that it's unplanned uh, you know this drive isn't that bad like I said I'm not that super frustrated it's just that I'm kind of wasting not that I'm wasting an hour but you know there's a lot better things I could be doing with my precious life than driving driving down this road so, I do think that if I had a travel van, it'd be a little bit better. Because then I could make videos and, and work on crypto and stuff. Like, I could just park in Santa Fe for a day or two in a couple of the areas and just worked. And then got back on the road. But because I'm out of the car and, and it's like a pain in the ass to work, I want to get to a location now. And I want to get to a hotel tonight of some sort that I can I'm hoping if I could the north rim's about an hour and a half away so if I could get there and get one hotel room for like three days and get some work done that'd be great but I think what's going to happen is because this car in front of me is going so slow and there's no you can't pass it's just a two lane double lined really narrow road that's going curving through the darkness I'm I'm going to be going 40 the whole time with this person in front of me and the speed limit is 65 um, but all right it's 40 this is 45 through the windy section but there's still we're going 35 through it so we're going about 10 miles under the speed limit the whole time i mean it is dark so anyways so i thought that i would share this because I, I'm traveling across the country and I'm mentioning the traveling across the country and when people say send me pictures I send them pictures of the scenery I send them pictures of the alien museum I send them pictures of you know my poker winnings I send uh, pictures of the scenery of the Blue Ridge Parkway and like oh it's this magical adventure 20, and it's, it is 24-7 doesn't stop but most of it is just mundane. It's not, it's not go, go, go excitement. The excitement is the fact that I don't know where I'm going right now, but I'm just driving for, for 10 hours today, just looking at scenery. Um, and most of that without cell data or without music. So it's just in silence. And you can't really post that on social media. I mean, I think it's a good mental exercise. It's definitely good for stoicism. It's good for self-understanding. It's it's good for sitting with yourself. It's good for under, you know realizing if you are spiritually clean. If you have negative thoughts or depression or anything or things that you're worried about, that will come up. For the most part, I'm just sitting here in the silence, thinking of videos or pondering questions or doing thought proofs and just looking at the beautiful scenery. So it's not go, 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 excitement, top of the world. Um, you know, like one beautiful scene after another. And a lot of times you forget about the mundane stuff that's going on in the background. Um, 
you know, not that I'm a celebrity, but when people hey, tune in to watch celebrities, or tune in to watch uh, other people's lives on videos, and they're they're telling you what's going on. Uh, especially me. I mean, I'm putting a, a, a positive spin on everything because I'm having a good time. But it's not. It's it's not a luxurious vacation. I mean, even like last. So last night, I got to a Walmart and I pulled over way in the corner, and I have to take my air mattress out and blow it up for the back fold it properly I take my sleeping bag out and put it on top take my pillow out and then I have to put the, the black things on the window and then I put the silver reflective device on the front window then I have to move the cooler I have to move the cooler into the front seat and the, my, my drinking water into the front seat then I stack my suitcases on top of the two totes and then I have two totes back there and I have just enough room shoulders width for me to lay on half of the air mattress and the other half I don't blow up and then once it's all blacked out I lock the door and I have to brush my teeth in the corner of the parking lot and I spit you know I have to spit into the bushes and stuff and rinse the toothpaste out of my beard then I lay down and it's pitch black in the car and it's kind of warm there's no no AC or no heat I lock all the doors I feel somewhat safe I'm in a 24-hour Walmart parking lot but I'm sleeping in a Walmart parking lot I slept well but you still hear noises of people and carts and trucks and talking um, I slept through the night, slept pretty heavy. I cracked the sunroof and I have a screen that I can put in it. It's magnetized, it keeps the mosquitoes from getting in, but that time, that all takes time to set up. So that's about 20 minutes to set all that up. And then go to bed. And then I wake up around five o'clock and I'm, I'm you know, 48 years old in the back of a, a, a cross country outfitted vehicle. So for me, I like it because I can wake up with a beautiful scenery in the background in areas when I'm like in the middle of nowhere. But that happened a lot more when I was up north last year. This year, there really hasn't been any place I can park the car. Like when I woke up in the Badlands to watch the sunrise, that was well worth it. When I woke up in Wyoming with the mountains, that was worth it. In the forest, that was worth it. All the places that I got to sleep out in the middle of nowhere. I haven't had that chance here going south. The Blue Ridge Parkway, there wasn't really any opportunities where you could sleep out there. It wasn't allowed. There's no car parking. Uh, same with the National Forest. Even though they were open 24 hours, they wouldn't let you car, car camp. You had to uh, camp in the woods. So then you wake up in the morning and it's the same thing. I actually went into Walmart. Now I'm brushing my teeth and using the bathroom facilities at the Walmart. But then I got to break down and I got to roll up my sleeping bag, put it away. I got to fold up the air mattress. I got to move the water and the cooler in the back. I got to buy ice. So anything that needs to be kept cold doesn't go bad. So I have cold drinks and food that are on ice because there's no refrigeration obviously when you're living out of your car like this and even if you get to a hotel you just have a mini fridge no freezer so then I pack all that stuff up take all the stuff out of the window um, and now I'm just in the middle of nowhere unshowered um, with a, not a very good teeth brushing I run some water over my face and now I'm like, okay, I'm on the road, where am I going? So like I said, the adventure's fun, but you know, that's 40 minutes of just setting it up and breaking down the car to sleep, which is not glamorous. When you're in the hotels on the road, um, especially when you're out in the middle of nowhere, the best hotel is like a medium 
hotel. This clean, there's no roaches, you get a fresh bed, you get a hot shower, you get a refrigerator. I don't I don't watch TV, so that's not helpful. So you're basically just paying $130 for a shower when you could get a shower for $14 at Love's, but now you're sleeping in your car. But if you want the luxury to be able to move around the whole country on a cross-country trip for inexpensive, this is what it is. But the, the, the excitement is, you know, two to three hours a day while you're out doing your hike or your adventure, your sightseeing. 